Well, good day, farmers. Welcome to Eureka Farms. Now, this farm has the advantage of using the placeable factories, which we're going to get into in this. But first of all, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a happy holiday, and hope everybody gets what they want from Santa. So, let's continue now. Let's get on with this. Let me make sure we have everything we need. Looking for my placeable factories. Let's see, we're in the peas now. Uh, farm solo, okay. Uh, that'll probably... Factories pack. Okay, good. We're good to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, folks. This is where we start out with. All of this. Except for that big field you just saw was not ours. We have owned field 7. But we will get into that shortly. Um, this map does come with the um, cows, pigs, horses, and chickens on our farm here. Okay. Wow. Okay, so we got our header in here. Got our combine and our other header. Now, in case nobody has noticed, on this map, the harvesters, you guys are not going to want to believe this. Large capacity ones. The case and the New Holland are for hold. 500,000 liters. Now that to me is very unbelievable, but I think it comes with this map. So, because it was never in the mod hub to begin with. And here we have our two seeders and our fertilizer slash limer. Um, let's see, what is over here? It's our other fertilizer. Our cultivator, okay, or plow, whatever one you want to call it. Let's open this one. Okay, and here we have our tractor, and we have our loading wagon. 
which is kind of cool. Let's go over to here and see what we got in here. Besides, I think this is a workshop. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, place full workshop, okay. Let's go over here and see what's in here. Empty. Okay. Now the shop is very close to this farm, so I'm happy about that. Um, let's see what's in here. Tractor, our uh, our trailer, and you got your shovel here. I guess that's to clean up from the pigs and the horses and the cows and chickens. And this is our cow pen right here. Okay. Here's our watering area. Alright, so far this is a really good map. And what I like about it is you're able to use the placeable factories on it. So, which is a very good thing. Now, we will be getting into animals soon. But first, we got to make some money off of this. Here's our chicken pen. Which we have no chickens at all to begin with. No cows, no chickens, no pigs, no horses. There's our house. So we get a pig or a uh, animal pen next to it. Okay. This one looks like as if to be horses. Okay. This next one, I do believe, is the pigs. No, sheep. Okay. Oh, our pig pen's over here. Okay. Alright, so let's grab our, one of our tractors and our cedars and let's go get seeding. Um, not this one. This one, yeah. Now I gotta open this garage door. I'm not going to grab the real big cedar just yet. I want to grab this one back here. Now, since we don't have any seed to put into it, I got to go and buy us the placeable fill station so I can fill it up with seed and fertilizer. I'm going to put that over here. Okay, so first off, what I want to start out with is planting soybeans because here's where the, I don't know why they put it into with the animals, but the placeable uh, factories are in here. So you have your barrels production, biodiesel production, boards production, cheese, chips, flour, oil some flour, soy drink, sugar production. What I want to do is buy the soy drink one, but we need soybeans first. And yes, they come out as pallets. I tested it out um, as I was playing it by myself and saw it come out as pallets, but we're going to need a trailer, we're going to need a forklift, and we're going to need a truck or tractor to haul the pallets around. <clears throat> oh. And let me do one other thing. Slow down time. 
economic difficulty, I'm putting to easy. And I'm shutting traffic off. Because traffic does get in the way when you're doing this one field. Plant weatherings off, crop destruction off. And weeds off. Okay. So we're good to go. Okay, so while he's doing that, the harvester we have, let's see here. It holds 14,400. We could use that to start with, but I want to up it to the 500,000 once we start getting into more fields. Um, but right now, I want to get out of this area. Um, now, we are going to need, let's see here. I want the forklift. That's 37,000. Um, we're going to lease that. Um, I also need... Let's go into bailing. I need this one. I'm going to change the color on it. Main color. Um... We're going to do Case IH colors. Okay. Um, no. I want to lease it. I also am going to need water, so I need a watering uh, hole to put down. Okay, um, now, I know I'm going to need a trailer for water, but right now, I don't want to put that down just yet, um, and I don't want to put down the factory just yet, not until after we get some money, um, maybe we can sell a couple of things off of here, um, things we really don't need, um, yeah, the culti plow I don't need. Um, that I don't need. And that I don't need. The animal pens are staying. Now I'm back up to 137,000. Now I got enough money to put down the factory, which we will do. Okay, we got soy drink. Um, let's see, where can we stick that down at? I could stick that down right here. Um, yeah, that looks like a perfect place to put it down. Hold on, I need to open up this one here so I can get my trailer out. So we're gonna go sell some crops. We're going to sell what's in the silo and get rid of those crops and earn some extra money. Now wheat's going to be first. That's the first thing we're going to sell. So I'm not getting into animals just yet. Okay, so where is wheat good at? Let's see. Wheat. 991 at the old grain mill. Okay. Where is that? Ah, up there. Okay.
Now, a lot of these fields go for over one million dollars. Which I find hard to believe, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting into some of these fields. Um, like, say, maybe we'll buy 8, 9, and 10 and combine them all into one big field. Um, let's see, what else can I do? I could buy fields 5 and 6 and combine that into one big field. So, you never know what we might do with this. But the factories is the one thing we're actually going to get us into. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, this map is out by TNT Modding. I think they're the ones that brought the uh, harvesters to this map, along with the map. So, we want to thank them for bringing this to, to console and PC. Because this is out for both console and PC. Okay, we made 14,000 off of that. That's not bad. Now, we will be getting into some forestry on this, too. And once our um, soybeans are all planted, we will harvest them, and then the soybeans are going to go into the uh, factory. So we won't sell our soybeans, but they're going to go right into the factory. And then I had to get water, and then after that, once we speed time up overnight, then the next day you'll see that we'll start having pallets of uh, soy drink. Now, once we start making some money off these factories and off of our fields, I will purchase 8, 9, and 10. But let's see what 8, 9, and 10 is going for, price-wise. 249, 241, and 429,000. Okay. Just so we know what we're up against price-wise. <coughs> Excuse me. So, here, for some odd reason, I don't know what this is all about right here. But it says open animal dialogue, and for some reason you're only able to move one into there. I don't know what that is, but right here is right where you see your pallets. And over here is where you put your water and your soybeans. So, once we get into that, you'll see how we start doing that. Now the soybeans that are in the silo now we will sell, but the ones off the field we're not going to sell. The reason I'm keeping the animal pens is so we can actually have some animals when we start. Barley, let's see where that's good at. Okay, barley. Uh, at the old grain mill, right where we just were. Okay, so we gotta head back there. Heading back to the old grain mill. Now today is just going and seeding our field and emptying out our silo. The next episode of this is where we're going to be harvesting and putting the soybeans into the factory. Now, I don't know why they say to put an animal pen inside the factory when there is no animals at all. But, it is what it is. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Still got real bad asthma. Now, if you leave it on normal economy... Prices stay the same, but with easy mode, your prices get a little bit higher. Like, say, for example, um, soybeans are at 
all-time high of 2,838. Cotton right now is at an all-time high, excuse me, of $4,393. Eggs are at $6,339, but if you go back to normal, I'm sure the eggs will only be at $2,000, and cotton will be at, sitting at $1,000 or $2,000. So, it's better I leave it on the easy economy. That way, I get more for my buck. Now, what I would like to do also is start a... Start from scratch mode. Where you start off with nothing. And you gotta do um, contracts. In order to make your money. Thinking about doing that after the holidays. This is just a little something for you guys to watch on Christmas Eve. Okay, made 11,000 off the barley. Next will be oats, and then canola, and soybeans, and corn. Now, if you start off on a farm manager mode, Field 7's already got corn in it growing. All you have to do is just fertilize it. So that's what I started off with last night playing on my own. I started off on Farm Manager and found out that Field 7 is filled with corn already. Now some of the trees may be in my way, but that's fine for right now. But we will get into uh, removing them sooner or later. Now if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if there is a forestry area on this map. Um, basically all around the edges. Yeah, all around the edges is... Oh, there is a one back here, right by the sawmill. Okay, I didn't know that there was forestry in this. Okay, good. Okay, so we have something to look forward to. Once we get into forestry, I'll let you guys know. But I don't even know how much that forestry area is back here. Let's find out. 310,000. Okay. So we need to make some money. In order to buy that area so we can at least start cutting down trees. Now it's a shame that console doesn't have the auto load for wood logs. But that's okay. We can handle it on our own. Let's see, where is oats good at? Um, the old grain mill. Okay. Let's head back to the old grain mill. Oats I would have held on to for horses, but we haven't gotten into animals just yet. The only reason I held the map up was just to make sure I know where I'm going. And these are pretty big fields, so you can make a lot of money off of them. Okay, made 21,000 off of the uh, oats. So let's go back and get our canola, our sunflowers, our soybeans, and corn. Let's see, the canola is next, and that's going good for here at the old grain mill as well. I'm like we're going to bring everything to the old grain mill. 
Now, I don't want to put down any placeable selling stations, because these selling stations that we're going to are nearby. So you don't have far to travel. Now, the soy drink. Let's see. What is that going for? Soy drink. Most it's going for right now at the feed supply company is 3,638. Which is not bad, but we don't have any of it yet. <clears throat> now, like I said, we will get into forestry. And we're also going to be getting into doing cotton on this map too. Maybe a whole lot of it. But we'll see. think this tractor could do with a weight. If you go to turn it, it goes everywhere. It's like all over the place if you notice when I'm driving. Now what I am going to be doing after the holidays is on Twitch, I will be live streaming a series on Farmer's Dynasty and I'll take those videos and I'll uh, transfer them to YouTube when I'm done with them. I would like to get back into doing Farmer's Dynasty. I haven't done that in a while. Plus I'm also going to be having some new games coming up soon. And not only are we going to be getting into cotton, we're going to get into um, doing bales, too. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the round bales for the John Deere cotton harvester, or if I'm going to be doing the square cotton bales, but the regular bales. We'll be getting into doing straw, grass, uh, possibly silage, and hay. Okay, we made 16000 off that. Now... As I said about the bales, um, we're going to be doing silage bales soon. And I got the bale wrappers here to prove it, so we'll be getting into that soon. too far I think didn't I no I didn't go too far hmm. sorry for riding on your crops whoever field this is he's got something planted here let's see what's he got planted oh soybeans okay Now, I know on this map, there are contracts we could take out. Yeah, field 3, 13, 9, and 5. 5 is for harvesting. 9, fertilizing. Field 13, fertilizing. And field 3, fertilizing. Wow. Even on easy mode, prices go up. A lot. They're giving you 51000 for fertilizing and for harvesting 40000 That's not bad at all. Wow.
Now, I am not going to make this a very long video today. Because I have other things I got to do with the family tonight since it's Christmas. Uh, there will not be any live streams or videos tomorrow. But I will be back on Saturday on Twitch live streaming like I always do. Okay, some flowers. Let's see where they're good at. Some flowers. Uh, at the warehouse. Okay. Where is the warehouse? Ah, not too far from here. Okay. Ah, over there. Okay. Don't want to ride on anybody else's crops right now. Oh, in order for me to go and combine these fields together, I have to get rid of the trees that are here first. Okay, so for me to do that, we'll have to get into doing some logging. Okay. But it's too early to do that just yet. Now, after some flowers, I got soybeans and corn. That'll be the last two that we have. Um, I know I'm probably going where. Okay, this guy's done. Let's fold him up and put him away. <coughs> Excuse me. So, once I'm done selling our crops, we're going to call this a day. And I'll pick back up here next time where we'll be harvesting this field and taking the soybeans and putting them into the. Uh, uh, factory. I'll put this here for now till I'm done. There's also a bale store, um, transport company, spinnery, sawmill, old grain mill, bale and feed, dairy, I guess that's for the eggs and milk, feed supply company, animal dealer, Biogas plant, bale store, and warehouse. Okay. So, got plenty here to keep us busy for a long time. I think this is going to be one map we're actually going to stick to for a while. Because we've got plenty of other factories to deal with. So much we make off of this. <laughs> Thirty nine thousand, that's not bad. Okay, let's head back and go grab our soybeans and then our corn and sell those. Now, I really wanted to live stream this for you guys on YouTube, but ever since I decided to live stream for Twitch, my recording device will not let me live stream to YouTube. So, I'm sorry everybody, but it has to be recorded videos.
Okay, soybeans is next. Let's see, where are soybeans good at? Soybeans is good at, let's see, feed supply company, okay. So that's where we have to go. No, I'm not too far from that at all. Okay. It's up by the animal dealer. <clears throat> Now for this map, I want to go about doing things the right way. Not the old silly, uh, buy the selling station and the multi-filling station and go about buying fertilizer and selling it. That's one way of making money, but I don't want to go about doing it that way. I want to go about making money the right way by selling crops and our stuff from the factories. Now, I tested it out last night, and the factories do work. Now, for cheese, we are going to need milk, so that's what we're going to need is cows for that. Sorry for the loud noise. I made 38,000 off of that. I didn't think these factories make this much noise. First time I've actually heard real factory sounds coming from any map but this one. And last but not least is going to be corn, and that's good at transport company. Okay. So we're going to have to tag that. Where's the transport company? Ah, down by field 11. Okay. Let's go back and grab our corn, and that's where we're going to go and sell our corn at. And that will be the last of this for today. Okay, let's go down to the transport company and let's go sell the rest of our crops. Oh, there was a water station here and I didn't need to buy one. God darn it. Oh well. Now we got two water stations. But we don't need two. Hey, that's gone.
And after this, I'm going to call this a day, and we'll pick back up here next time. And hopefully by then we'll be able to harvest our soybeans and put them into the factory. Now, the only thing is I don't know how much the factory takes, because it doesn't tell you how, how much it takes to fill it up. If you're on PC, it shows you. Um, but not in these factories, but on different factories if you download them off the internet. It shows you how much it takes to fill up, but these, it doesn't. All right, made 19,000 off of that. Okay. All right, everybody, this is where I'm gonna leave everybody off. Everybody go have a good rest of the day. And enjoy everybody's Christmas. And I'll see everybody back on Saturday on Twitch for another live stream. Have a good one, y'all.